Hello guys and welcome back to third part of how to build your personal brand. Innovative approach to success. Video links are mentioned in the description of first part and second part. Today we will be discussing second step of process which is assess your brand equity. First, you must recognize and analyze your current brand so that you can effectively build upon or modify it to remain consistent with your personal proposition. Consider the resources at your disposal, including awareness, associations, and meaning. Start by cataloging your qualifications, such as your education, notable professional or personal experiences, and accomplishments. Then, outline your social connections and relationships within various groups and organizations. This will help you assess your existing social capital and learn how to utilize it effectively. Following that, examine your cultural capital, the expertise you've acquired through your upbringing, interactions, hobbies, and interests that enable you to adapt effortlessly in various environments. Create a list of adjectives or descriptive phrases that you believe accurately represent you, incorporating both positive and negative traits. Be as specific as possible and avoid generic descriptors, like University of Michigan graduate or financial analyst. Develop distinctive descriptive language. For example, you might be a detail-oriented financial analyst or a financial analyst who looks beyond the numbers. Ensure that all your adjectives are striking. Instead of smart, try intellectual, well-read, educated, street smart, or expert at cost-based accounting. Similarly, funny could become quick-witted or adept at lightening the mood with a well-timed joke. Next. Determine whether your self-assessment aligns with your desired brand identity. For example, if your personal value proposition is based on being a strong, warm, empathetic leader capable of delivering results, you'll want to see words like compassionate and results-driven. How effectively are you demonstrating and showcasing these qualities? Another valuable exercise is conducting market research to determine if your perception of your image aligns with that of others. Start by identifying your key audiences, example, colleagues, bosses, teachers, family, friends, romantic partners, and selecting several truth-tellers from each group, individuals you trust to provide objective feedback. Include people who know you well and those who barely know you. Be courageous enough to involve someone who has rejected you. Invite each person to have an open conversation with you about your strengths and weaknesses, assuring them that you seek complete honesty. Ask open-ended questions, like how would you describe me to a stranger if I wasn't with you, or which adjectives or phrases do you associate with me professionally and personally? Avoid leading prompts, such as do you think I have a good sense of humor? Instead, try is there anything unique about me concerning my conversation style? Personality? Interests? Experiences? Skills? You can then delve deeper by asking your truth-tellers to evaluate you based on your desired attributes. Compare their opinions with your own. How do they align or differ? What gaps have you discovered, and how might you address them? Lastly, remember to assess yourself against the competition independently and with input from your advisors. What skill sets, qualifications, social capital, cultural capital, and personality traits do these individuals possess? Which attributes and benefits are exclusive to you? These will become your points of distinction. Which aspects are missing from your portfolio? Those are the areas you need to focus on.